Earthquakes, Eruptions, and Other Events That Change Earth Planet of Change Earth's surface is always changing. Most of these changes happen slowly. They can take hundreds or even thousands of years. Some changes, however, happen quickly. In fact, Earth's surface can change in a matter of minutes, hours, or days. Big Changes Natural disasters, such as earthquakes, volcanoes, and tsunamis, can happen without warning. They can change Earth's surface in a big way very quickly. An earthquake shaking can create large holes or cracks in the land. A volcano's hot lava can create new landforms when cooled. The wall of water from a tsunami can destroy forests, roads, and buildings. Natural disasters can be very dangerous for people and animals. Layers Earth is not a solid ball. If you were to cut our planet open, you would see it is made up of four layers. The inner core is at the center. It is a solid ball of metal. Around this inner core is the outer core. This layer is liquid metal. The next layer is called the mantle. The mantle is made of solid rock and minerals. The top layer is the crust. Rocky crust. The crust is the thinnest layer. It is made of rock. This is the layer that we live on. The rock and minerals in the crust are shaped into landforms. Low landforms fill with water to make lakes, rivers, and oceans. Earth's processes are always at work changing the crust. Cliffs, hills, and mountains are raised landforms. Earthquakes. Earth's crust is divided into plates. A plate is a huge sheet of rock. The plates fit together like big puzzle pieces to form the surface. The plates are moving and rubbing against each other very slowly. Sometimes the edge of one plate is pushed under another plate. This causes an earthquake. During an earthquake, the ground shakes suddenly. Earth's crust is made up of a few large plates and many smaller plates. Moving and shaking. Earthquakes happen around the world every day. Most are not strong enough to cause any damage. Some, however, can cause the ground to shake violently. During these strong earthquakes, buildings can crumble and fall, and roads can crack and split. Landslides. During a landslide, rocks and soil suddenly break loose and slide down hills or mountains. Landslides can happen for different reasons. Rivers can eat away at the base of hills and mountains, causing the earth above to fall. Heavy rains can also cause landslides when wet soil turns to mud. The slippery mud will then move downhill quickly. Slipping and sliding. Landslides can be as small as a few large rocks rolling down a hill. They can also be as large as the whole side of a mountain sliding away. The biggest landslides can move a lot of ground very quickly. They change the shape and size of landforms. They fill valleys with soil and rocks. Landslides can happen underwater, too. Volcanoes A volcano is an opening in Earth's crust where hot, melted rock and ash from inside Earth erupts or shoots out. Some eruptions happen once every few years and last only a couple of hours. Other volcanoes continue erupting for weeks, months, or even years. The Kalilalua volcano in Hawaii has been erupting since 1983. Melting rocks. Volcanoes reshape Earth's surface. When the lava shoots out of the volcano, it flows down the sides and over the land below. The lava is so hot that it can melt rock. Boulders and hills can melt away. When the lava cools, it hardens into new rock. This new rock is full of minerals. After a few years, the new rock breaks down and turns into rich farmland. Volcanic Islands Volcanoes can create new islands. When a volcano erupts, lava flows out of it. Some volcanoes erupt underwater. As they erupt over and over, the lava cools and builds up a cone-shaped mountain around the opening. When the mountain gets big enough, it breaks through the surface of the water, creating an island. Making Islands 
The Hawaiian Islands are volcanic islands found in the Pacific Ocean. The islands are the peaks of large mountains formed under the ocean by volcanic eruptions. Some Hawaiian island volcanoes are no longer erupting. Others are still active in creating new land. The Stromboli volcano has been erupting for at least 2,000 years. Tsunamis A tsunami is a giant wave. Tsunamis are caused by changes in the ocean floor. Underwater earthquakes, landslides, and volcanic eruptions can all cause tsunamis. The force from these natural disasters can make the water rise. This will start a wave that speeds through the water until it reaches land. A tsunami can be as high as 115 feet, 35 meters. That is as tall as a 10-story building. Wall of Water A tsunami is one of the most damaging forces on Earth. It can race toward land as fast as a jet plane. It can wipe out villages and even islands. It can move soil and rocks as much as 620 miles, 1,000 kilometers. Building up and tearing down. Earth's processes can build up and tear down landforms. Landslides change the shape of hills and mountains. Tsunamis eat away at the land along the coast. Volcanoes build up Earth's surface and earthquakes tear it down. Our changing Earth. These changes can threaten the lives of people, plants, and animals, but they are also a chance for new life to grow. New landforms become homes for plants and animals. New mineral-rich soil produces food to feed people around the world. The island of Iceland is growing larger each year. It has many active volcanoes. The lava from these volcanoes creates new land. On the job, scientists have a lot to learn about Earth's processes. Seismologists are people who study earthquakes. They want to learn when and where earthquakes will happen. Volcanologists are people who study volcanoes. They are looking for signs of a coming eruption. They study the buildup of pressure under the ground. Discovering new information about natural disasters can help save people's lives. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this book and would like your own copy, please check the links in the description box below.